We really believe that on some primal level, everyone would love to spend a night around a campfire uh, or under the stars uh, or climbing a big mountain or even spending a snowy night out in the winter. The design process always starts with our experience. I mean, fundamentally, we're here to solve problems around adventure, and you have to be really familiar, obviously, with adventure to do that well. I think our, our own um, uh, adventures, our own, our own lifestyles, um, kind of are, are a big inspiration. They're, they're springing off point. First-hand experience is, is um, just the best way to, get, to gather information and come up with new ideas. I've been here for seven years, and for the first three years, we were very focused on tents, and then we started bringing in sleeping pads and having some ideas around that and, and realizing that we could be much more than just a tent company. Um, and a few years ago, we realized that we were starting to create the whole sleep experience. Um, with the sleeping pads and the tents, we're making a little home in the outdoors, and the, the one big missing piece there was sleeping bags. But we didn't want to come at it in a way where, uh, you know, we make a mummy-shaped bag in green and blue and red. That's just not how Nemo works. We kind of wanted to look at what could be better about sleeping bags, why people don't sleep well, what they don't like about them, things that they thought, well, that's just what sleeping is like when you're camping. Um, and we wanted to say, no, that's, that's not what it's like at all. And you can actually change the paradigm of how you sleep in the outdoors. The shape of the spoon bags, for instance, is, is a really big difference. And it may seem subtle on paper, but I think in practice, having that extra room um, for your needs to move, for your body to move, for to accommodate all the different types of sleepers is, is really essential to getting good sleep in the outdoors. They're a much more personal product than tents because people are in them. They're, they interact with sleeping bags on a more personal level. On the exterior, we wanted to make sure that the fabrics were highly breathable and they're waterproof and all the things, the technical specs, but then the, the second layer to that is to make sure that people's personal interactions with the fabrics were, were as comfortable as they, they are with their, their fabrics on their bed at home. Really what motivated me in the beginning was, uh, you know, being kind of bored honestly with uh, what I perceived as a lack of innovation in many of the categories of outdoor gear. So I was young and driven by ideals and wanted everything about Nemo um, to be different and to be my own idea of perfect. And so we really reinvented the wheel in just about everything because we were all 20 something and had never done this before. And I would say the difference between then and now is, um, you know, now we have a lot more experience and knowledge, but you know we try hard to keep those youthful ideals. I, I feel really strongly that uh, when you're heading out for an adventure, if your ultimate goal is to get to Z, that you only know really the first few steps. Um, Maybe you have a clear picture of what A, B, C, and D are like, but I think it's really important to not overly define uh, your path, to leave um, a significant component of flexibility and uncertainty um, so that you can make decisions with, um, you know, kind of, uh, uh, you know, the information that's at hand um, as you kind of go one step at a time. So, you know, I don't, I don't know and I wouldn't want to know exactly exactly where we're going or how we're going to get there. <laughs>